Hello friend, today I am going to explain you all non-orthogonal multiple access that is NOMA. NOMA is one of the key principles for radio access in 5G network. What is radio access network? A radio access network is a major component of a wireless telecommunication system that connects individual devices to the other parts of the network through a radio link. NOMA is based on the fundamental idea that more than one user can be served in each orthogonal resource block that is time slot subcarrier spreading code etc. NOMA is a technique in which multiple users share relocated resources through the power domain. It increases the number of simultaneously served users and thus it can support massive connectivity. In first generation of mobile communication, we were using for frequency division multiple access that is FDMA. In second generation, we were using time division multiple access that is TDMA. In th third generation mobile communication, we were using code division multiple access that is CDMA. In fourth generation, we were using orthogonal frequency division multiple access that is OFDMA. And in the fifth generation, the most promising candidature for fifth generation is NOMA, that is non-orthogonal multiple access. So we have to first of all make some comparison between the what is OMA and the NOMA. First of all, I will look at what is OMA. In case of OMA, you can see here easily that from the base station to the user one and users two in the first diagram having a channel coefficient h1 and from base station to user 2 having a channel coefficient h2. Here the frequency is being divided. For user 1 we have given the lower frequency range and for user 2 we were giving higher frequency range. But the power is same. But in case of NOMA you can easily see here having the same channel coefficient H1 and H2 for user N1 and user 2 respectively. But in the power domain you can easily see here the graph Y axis that power level are different for user 1, user 2 but the frequency band for both the user is same. We are allocating more power to user 1 and less power to user 2 in case of NOMA. We are just dividing each and every user in NOMA with different power level. Understand? So, we have to make a comparison of NOMA and OMA. What are the advantages of OMA and what are the advantages of NOMA? First of all, I will discuss. Advantage of OMA is simple receiver detection. Simpler receiver detection. And advantage of NOMA is having low latency, higher spectral efficiency, higher connection density, enhanced user fairness, support diverse quality of service. And then we talk about the disadvantages of OMA, lower spectral efficiency, limited number of users, unfairness for user and disadvantage of NOMA is increases complexity of receiver. These are the disadvantages of NOMA. So, we have seen here the NOMA system is performing better because it has a low latency. It means for delay in the transmission of data from one point to another point is low. It is a faster service. It is having the fast data rate and higher spectral efficiency, higher connection density, increased fair user fairness, support diverse quality of service. 